Hello everyone. Welcome to What a Story. A little kid named Estella was brought into the world with her hair half dark and half white. She has consistently had creative energy and a reasonably feisty character. Her mom Catherine noticed and called her, Cruella. Catherine carries Estella to a non-public school, where she vows to behave. Notwithstanding, different kids mock her due to her hair, and her main companion is another young lady named Anita Darling, alongside a dog she finds named Buddy. In the wake of causing much mischief over the course of her time at the school, Estella is expelled. Catherine laments their predicament and seeks assistance from her boss, who is hosting a winter ball at their estate, Hellman Hall. Catherine tells Estella to stay in the car, but she takes a brief break to observe the party. Estella and Buddy sneak into the mansion, where Estella, who has always loved fashion, is awestruck by all the gowns and dresses on display at the ball. Unfortunately, Buddy escapes, and after Estella pursues him, she is discovered by a valet named John. Estella flees him and is followed by three vicious Dalmatians along with Buddy. Estella dashes outside, where Catherine converses with her boss, Baroness von Hellman. The Dalmatians rush past Estella and pounce on Catherine, causing her to fall off a cliff and die, which Estella witnesses. The partygoers go outside to see what happened, and the Baroness lies, claiming that Catherine was attempting to rob her. Estella travels in a garbage truck with Buddy. Estella arrives at Regent's Park in London, where she had planned to meet her mother and realizes she is missing the necklace her mother had given her to hold on to. She falls asleep by the fountain and is discovered the following day by two delinquent boys, brothers Horace and Jasper, and their one-eyed dog, Wink. When they meet Estella, they are attempting to steal from the fountain. Jasper determines that she does not have a family, and the three flee together when an officer apprehends them. Estella joins the boys at their hideout, and Jasper tells Horace that they should keep her around because having a girl might make her appear as an innocent distraction to people they intend to steal. Estella dyes her hair to blend in with the schemes and become unrecognizable. Ten years later, Estella is still committing crimes with Horace and Jasper, as well as Buddy and Wink. Estella is also working on new fashion ideas. On Estella's birthday, the brothers surprised her with a job at the downtown Liberty Department store, which Jasper had noticed she was constantly staring at. Estella starts working at Liberty as a cleaner for a jerk named Gerald. He never lets Estella present her ideas and treats her horribly. Gerald then invites her back and instructs her to clean overnight. That night, Estella steals a liquor bottle from his office and visits the window display, which she finds repulsive. Estella awakens hungover by the window, with Horace, Jasper, and other customers witnessing the display, which Estella drastically altered to appeal more to her style. Gerald notices Estella and prepares to fire her until he learns that the store's owner, the Baroness, is on his way. Estella flees with Horace and Jasper, who steal Gerald's wallet and other valuables. The Baroness inquires about the window display, which she enjoys. Gerald informs Estella that she is being fired, but she instructs her assistant Jeffrey to give Estella her business card instead. Estella celebrates her promotion by fleeing with the brothers. Estella starts working at the house of Baroness, creating dress designs and ideas. She quickly realizes that the Baroness is a cold, soulless woman who only criticizes her employer's work and has sociopathic tendencies, such as using a razor to cut the sleeves off Estella's design and not caring if she accidentally nicks Estella's hand. After work, Estella visits a shop by Artie, who quickly befriends her because she admires his fashion sense. In the window, she also notices a red gown made by the Baroness. Estella demonstrates to the Baroness that she has a talent for fashion throughout her work. Estella's attitude toward the Baroness changes when she notices she is wearing her mother's necklace, despite the Baroness' claim that it is a family heirloom. 
Estella begins to hate the Baroness after she tells her that a former employer tried to rob her and then fell off a cliff. Estella informs Horace and Jasper of the news, seeing it as an opportunity to pull off a heist, especially since the Baroness is set to host an upcoming gala. Estella memorizes the Baroness's schedule and the guard's work and movement patterns to plan the heist. On the gala night, Horace and Jasper enter the building disguised as pest exterminators, with Wink acting as a rat. As the heist begins, Jasper makes his way to the security cameras. Estella removes her wig and wears her natural hair, posing as Cruella and wearing the Baroness dress she saw in Artie's shop. Before we go any further, did you remember that in 90s movies, Cruella is always holding a cigarette? Wait until the very end to find out why they decided to remove it. She astounds everyone in the room, including the usually unimpressed Baroness. Anita, a journalist who recognizes Estella from her hair, is also watching and amazed. Estella subdues the Baroness guards before taking a seat next to her. When Horace opens the safe with the necklace, he discovers it is empty, and Estella notices that the Baroness is wearing it. Just as the Baroness realizes, Cruella, is intruding, Jasper sends some rats into the party, creating a distraction that allows Estella to steal the necklace from the Baroness and give it to Buddy. Unfortunately, the Baroness Dalmatians appear, and one of them swallows it after attempting to reclaim it from Buddy. Estella notices the Baroness using a whistle to control the dogs, which she also used when Catherine died, implying that the Baroness purposefully directed her dogs to kill Catherine. Estella hotwires a car to escape with the brothers and their dogs after their trucks are towed. Estella comes to a halt and sobs because her boss murdered her mother. Estella is still acting as Cruella the next morning, ordering Horace and Jasper to steal the Baroness's dogs so one of them can pass the necklace. Estella then goes to Anita's workplace, still dressed as Cruella, and requests that she spread the word about her personal exploits. Meanwhile, Horace and Jasper discover the Dalmatians while they are being bathed, and they use Wink as bait to entice them to come out before transporting them in a van. Cruella soon begins to crash many more of the Baroness's events, and because Anita covers it in the paper, Cruella becomes a fashion sensation, completely upstaging and overshadowing the Baroness. She becomes increasingly agitated, even dismissing her lawyer Roger for failing to have Cruella arrested, and then orders Estella to create a new design for an upcoming spring collection presentation. Estella orders a special material and makes the dress, which the Baroness clearly admires, despite the fact that she intends to take credit for it. The Baroness presents her spring collection, but when they open the vault, a swarm of moths emerge, having ripped through almost all of the dresses. This is due to the fact that Estella's dress was made from special cocoons. Outside, Horace and Jasper put on a real show with Artie, singing and Cruella emerges with a dress made of Dalmatian fur, leading the Baroness to believe Cruella murdered her dogs. When Estella returns home, she discovers Horace and Jasper bound, with the Baroness and her henchmen having deduced that Cruella is Estella. The henchman sees Estella and tie her to a chair, with the Baroness planning to frame Horace and Jasper for Cruella's death in a fire. Estella responds that she knows the Baroness murdered her mother, but by her words, she is implied to have killed others when she doesn't immediately recognize who Estella is referring to. She abandons Estella, along with Buddy and Wink, to burn. The building burns down, and word spreads that Cruella has died. Estella, Buddy, and Wink, as well as the still-alive Dalmatians, awaken in John's house. He brings her Catherine's necklace, which contains a key to a box, much to Estella's surprise. Estella's birth certificate is contained within the box. The Baroness is Estella's true biological mother, according to John. Although the Baron desired children, 
The Baroness believed that being a mother would jeopardize her success, so she ordered John to have the baby killed after birth, but he instead found Catherine and gave Estella to her so she could be raised properly. Estella is taken aback and flees, stealing a motorcycle from a delivery boy. While she is shocked that Catherine is not her mother, she continues to regard her as such and now decides to embrace her new identity as Cruella, born brilliant, bad, and slightly insane. Estella steals a truck and smashes through the front of the police station, allowing Wink access to Horace and Jasper's cells. Despite their breakup, they are still angry at Estella for how she treated them. They return to John's house after she tells them about the Baroness being her real mother, and she tells them that Horace and Jasper are her family. They then gather to devise a final plan to bring down the Baroness, and Estella later seeks assistance from Artie as well. Horace returns with the Baroness Panther de Vilcar, and Estella likes the name. The Baroness hosts another ball, with everyone dressed in wigs to honor Cruella. Estella pulls out a pin and pokes the Baroness, distracting her long enough to reach for her dog whistle. She employs it to transport the Dalmatians outside to the cliffside. Horace, Jasper, Artie, and John rally the troops and lead them outside. Estella coerces the Dalmatians into obedience before revealing to the Baroness that she is her daughter. The Baroness takes credit for Estella's talent yet again and pretends to want to run the business alongside her. She approaches her with the intention of hugging her. but instead pushes Estella over the edge. Everyone witnesses this as police arrive, and the Baroness is unable to cover it up. Estella, fortunately, has planned for this and uses a parachute to stop her fall. Cruella appears as the Baroness is being arrested, surprising everyone once more. Estella reveals through narration that she bequeathed her will to Cruella knowing that the Baroness would try to kill her, leaving her with her mother's fortune. Cruella holds Estella's funeral, then returns Horace and Jasper, along with Buddy, Wink, and the newly adopted Dalmatians, to the estate, which she renames Hell Hall after removing the man from Hellman. Cruella, along with John and Artie, informs the brothers that she has some big plans for them. And, finally, why was it impossible to use Cruella's signature cigarette holder in Cruella? The cigarette holder that Emma Stone desired to complete her look was not permitted by Disney. Disney decided not to depict smoking on screen in films aimed at children in rated G, PG, or PG-13. If you like the story, please like and subscribe. Be well and take care.